through harmful effects to get these things done. They were getting injections in like hotels and by people that was just like, that's like cement or something. I'm not sure so exactly what it is, it's, but it's not safe. Today is different. You know, you're basically, a lot of people are taking their fat and transferring it from places where they may want it. And I don't see any harm in that. It's still a part of your body. It's not a foreign object. So, you know, this I, I'm true, all, I, 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 my, I think my, it's fine. Like people say, go to the gym and work out. It's certain shapes. You can't get in the gym. You can lose weight. You probably get a flat of tummy. But if you want a certain figure, the gym is just not going to give you the figure that you're looking for. I'm sorry. It's not. I, I've seen it. It doesn't do the same. Well, I, a lot of people do the gym, but they don't only do the gym. They're doing these herbal supplements to help also with the transition of their body. Right. They do other things. You also mentioned dieting. people like Kay Michelle and, you know, people that went through harmful measures to get these bodies. That's where, that's where people are getting the whole, you know, idea of plastic surgery wrong. You know, you definitely have to go and do your research and you have to find you a board certified surgeon to do these these procedures. You can't just go and say, hey, I want a bigger booty and go do harmful things to and start like putting well, your body. Most people you do it can't. harmful because it's cheaper. Think about it. Yeah. To get your booty done, depending on how they're doing it, they're taking fat from certain areas to put it back there. Right. But you know, my thing about that is I get the fact that you can um, take fat from one part of your body and put it in another part. I so personally I personally that. don't trust doctors. I don't trust going mm -hmm. under the knife. How do we know that they're only using the fat from your body to put into another part of your body? You don't know that. You're you're knocked out cold. You're under an anesthesia. Like, how do you know? That's just an assumption. Well, it's it's my opinion. I'm talking about the fact that if you do a fat transfer, that that's what it's supposed to be. You know, I, right. can't, I can't go under the you assumption assume that it. you're assuming. You're saying, how do you know? I'm not mm -hmm. assuming. I'm just going by the book of what, it, what the procedure entails. Mm -hmm. Fat, I'm oh, sorry, being transferred from one part of your body to the other. And there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. But that's just my opinion. I, I respect you guys' opinion. I'm not, you know, going against it. I don't think it's anything wrong with what you're saying you know it is some definitely definitely some harmful uh procedures out there that people need to be aware of and cautious of but um i think that if you do the right research and you do the right you know thing or whatever it is and not for the right reasons i'm trying to say you should do it for the right reasons not because it's a trend or whatever it is because i know me personally i've got my breast done now um i did make i made sure i did my uh not know my research. I made sure that I had me a double uh, board certified uh, plastic surgeon um, and everything went well and they're fairly new and maybe, you know, who knows? And if you will come back and if we're still feeling the full one, maybe I have a different opinion. But right now I'm happy with my decision. You know, it definitely didn't come from a trend. It was something that I thought about since high school, which I don't know why I was thinking about that in high school. I've always just thought like my breasts are like really small and then they just as I turned 30, I was like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to fix this because I was still self-conscious about it. And it really improved my self-esteem. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you want to go out there and do it to improve your self-esteem. There's other ways to improve it. That's just something that improved my self-esteem about myself. Mm -hmm. And then your intimacy level is just better. Well, let me just say this about <laughs> myself. Um, you made the statement that people are against it because... You should just be happy with the way that your body is and you know things like that i agree with that i'm one of those people that feel that way because there was a time that i wanted to get my breasts done because i had a complex about having small breasts and i've had that complex most of my life as well because i got teased as a little girl you know the itty bitty titty committee you hey know, hey, hey. Like that. i'm still a part of that no, and, and I'm okay still with it. With it. Right, and guess what? Like grown woman, I'm all right with it. I thought about mm -hmm. doing things to enhance my breasts. Mm -hmm. I did. I'm not going to sit here and lie. But I came to the conclusion that I have to accept what God gave to me. Right. And which is my small. I wasn't accepting it. And and I'm happy with them. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like my breasts are sexy. My breasts are sexy as hell. Y'all see so it? Cute. Look, you see how I'm showing them tonight? Like super cute, though. Yes. yes. They're like super, super cute. <laughs> no, they are. They're like super cute. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I love it. It is what it is. I mean, that, oh, that, yeah. that's what made oh. me happy. I decided to do it. I'm definitely not telling anybody to go out there and do it to make yourself happy. It wasn't really about just happiness to me. It was about feeling sexy and secure. And I didn't. 
feel that way though. You 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 know, I mean, I, I just don't do it. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong yeah. fully with it, but I also don't feel that a lot nowadays a lot of the younger community is looking up to celebrity mm-hmm. women that are getting it done, looking up to That's the problem. Maybe right. their auntie, their uncle. Never know me, uncle, too. <laughs> and <laughs> and that that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, Your uncles are getting but, their jobs done, too, now. Listen, listen, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? But I, I will say that, that I do mm-hmm. feel like you have to set an example for the younger community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I do say that if they do choose to get their anything you done, have, to be safe. T- have a talk with them about it first, about why don't why are you not comfortable with your body? And if so, if that's something you want to do mm-hmm. when you're 18 and out of my damn house, then okay. Mm-hmm. But make sure you're telling them the reasons why they should be able to do it and why they should. Right. Just set the example. Because that, that's what I'm concerned about. I have an 11-year-old niece. I don't think that if she wanted to alter her body when she's like 25, okay. But if yeah, she's, I'm definitely speaking for the adults. I'm right. Really, I mean, it is but a it message going out the there. Young ones. Yeah, it does. And it is a message that, you know, is going out. And I would like for the message to be clear, you know. But I'm also talking about women that have, you know, grown into their womanhood and may want to alter it. I mean, I say if you want to do it, just be safe. That's all. I, I really don't I'm have no lie, qualms or problems about it. You I know. wanted my baby to do it at one point. Mm-hmm. Have the, they have this thing called the mommy makeover. You know, well, I'm all for lifting mm-hmm. your breast when your breast is sagging, but mm-hmm. inserting foreign objects into your yeah. body. I'm not. But what about the fat transfer? That's not a foreign object. I, like I said, a lot of people I don't, don't know, know it's, it's um objects. Like I said, as far as the fat yeah. transfer, yeah, they're saying it's transferring fat from one part right. of your body to another. But when you're under that knife, you don't know what's really going into your body. Right. So I just wouldn't put myself in the position mm-hmm. to have to. Worry about that down the line. Right. That's that's all. Well, very true. I, mean, like I was making a point of uh, they have this thing called the mommy makeover, and um, basically it's for moms that have recently had a baby, or you know maybe even you know some people say oh, that's baby fat. I have babies like five years old. It's not baby fat anymore. <laughs> right. You know, but if you have <laughs> one of those five year old no, baby like bodies, twenty five years old. How about no. twenty five years old? Some people still claim they it. I mean, baby fat. Fat. that's baby fat. It's not anymore, but I'm just saying that they do have these awesome procedures out there. I just think people just need to be safe with it. You know, I'm, I'm definitely not against it. I'm not telling anybody to go do it now, today, go find, but make sure when you do it, if you decide that, hey, you know, you find the right surgeon, you do your research and you make sure you can check on, there's a, um, a website called the American Boards of Plastics where you can actually type in the surgeon's name to make sure they're actually board certified so you're not being lied to or being boozled. And a cosmetic surgeon is not a plastic surgeon because when I was doing my research, I was like, is this, is, she's cosmetic or whatever, and I was thinking that was the same. It's not the same. So, you know, you just have to be careful when you do these things. Yeah, I totally That's agree. Right. I definitely agree. You know. Well, guys, I think that was a great discussion. Yes, and guess what time it is? It's time to hit the feet to the concrete. You damn right. Yes. Yeah. Hey, follow me. I'm putting my feet to the concrete. I'm going to actually, instead of finding someone on the street, I'm going to walk into the barbershop around the corner from the salon and ask a series of questions to these guys. They don't know we're coming. So, come on, follow me. Hey, guys. I'm going to put this umbrella down. Let's put this umbrella down so we can go inside. And ask these guys some questions. Uh, hey guys. Hey, how you doing? Hi, right so there, right now we are at. Can you find this one now? This looks like a place made in Maryland. Yeah. Thank you. 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 So we're here. What's the name of this barbershop? Unique Style and Cut. Unique Style and Cut. And, and Unisex Salon. And Unisex Salon. And right now I'm talking to. Mr. Al the Barber. Al the Barber. And are you the owner? Of, are you the owner of this barbershop? Yeah. Al is the owner of the barbershop. What's your address? Seven hundred five Bradford Avenue. Little shameless plug. Anyway, so we got a series of questions, Al. So the pendulum. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like I said, it's all depending on what question you gotta ask. What question you gotta ask? Okay, so the first question. Is it first? No, no, it's oh, not first. All right, cool. So we can go with the side. The first question is how do you spell yes? That's a Disney princess. S-E-Y. What? S-E-Y. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Come on, Al, be serious. Y-E-S. Y-E-S. Yes. So, what is E-Y-E-S? E Y E S. E Y E S. E Y E S. What is E Y? What does E Y E S spell? E Y E S. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you really feel like you're ready to get back out there again, I mean, I can cry. You give up? E Y E S. E-Y-E-S. Oh my God! Yo, stop it! Don't do that. Come on, eyes. Oh man. Yo, you got me. Oh my God. Oh man. You Wasn't that funny? Right Wait, okay. Was it funny? It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so the next question is: How many letters are in the alphabet? Uh. <laughs> got me. Come on, Al. You have this beautiful bomb shop. You don't know how many letters are in the alphabet? Al, Al, I need you to guess. I forgot. He doesn't know how many. I forgot. Twenty-six. There's twenty-six letters in the alphabet, Al. I forgot. Okay, and the last question is: Do pigs sweat? Pigs are nasty. But do they sweat? Why, why don't they sweat? Uh, <laughs> they nasty me everything, but they do sweat. I think, I don't know. You know, our kids do not sweat because they do not have sweat for oh. So, the next time I say, it. I'm sweating like a pig, you better recant that statement because pigs do not sweat. So, guys, welcome back. So, guys, how was that outside? It I was hilarious. hilarious. I mean... Those questions. They were really tricky for him. Yeah, they were really tricky. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was like, say it. Just say it. Right. You know? like, it was really, really tricky. And the, the one about the eyes, the E Y E S. Oh, you asked for that. Oh, God. And he was sitting there like, like, spell yes. And then she said, okay, so it's E Y E S. And he said, E Y E S. It took him a minute. <laughs> he, he, he never got it. His friend in the background <laughs> told him, I guess he signaled, you know, eyes. <laughs> and then that's how he got it. It's well, tricky when you have to think. I think when you have to think of a <laughs> moment like that, it can definitely trip you up. So we're here for you. What's his name? Al. 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 We're here for you, Al. Al from we're the Rolling Shop of Bradford. I gave well, you a shameless plug. And it, it, I'm happy that he, you know, participated in me too. Well, that's yeah. good. That's well, what I'm saying. He was a good sport. Got someone to good sport. Right. Speaking of good sports. Woo! Guys, yes. you know what time it is. It is the T phone time, so you already know that's my favorite subject. Yes, T phone. I love the T phone. So, guys, today the T is we're going to talk about Serena Williams and the U.S. Open. So, as you guys know, she actually lost. Um, she actually got a penalty for losing. Um, it all stirred up because while she was playing, she did a hand gesture with her coach and it turned totally she did this way she did a, oh she did a hand gesture she did a hand gesture and it came off as cheating you know that was straight up bull so she did a hand gesture oh, they have to <laughs> she, she did a hand gesture to her coach to her coach so it looked like it was cheating mm. and she actually how got something to look like cheating it? unless you're caught cheating i don't right. understand how does something look like cheating unless you're absolutely caught cheating like they said it's the way she committed after Listen, I don't understand tennis like that, but at the end of the day, Serena Williams has not ever cheated. Mm-hmm. She hasn't. How she many has games has she lost? She's never lost any. The only people that she didn't beat was those that retired. So she's undefeated. I, mean, I, I still consider her undefeated. Yeah. I'm definitely not. I ever, agree. I yeah, agree. she's undefeated. That was straight bull, and Serena's awesome. And what makes it worse, she's being penalized. She has to pay an actual fine of $17,000. Wow, that's ridiculous. And 10000 of that is um for the remark that she made to the actual owner. Are you kidding Yeah. So they're paying about t- they ten thousand dollars for basically this seventeen thousand ten thousand of that money is actually because it's basically she talked back to, to the, the umpire. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 
Wow. They took a point from her too. So it just it it just didn't work. And it, I'm sorry, but and I, I did see a clip where she was really upset and she was saying, you know, she wouldn't um ever want that to be a part of her story because she has a daughter now and she has an example to set. So to even put cheating on her name. But she is really the reason why yeah. she made it such a big deal because she says one, it was for the simple fact that it's sexism. Mm -hmm. And two, Agreed. like you have to think about it. If men what was it, another athlete recently that took their shirt off? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, there was yeah, an I actual athlete recently that took their shirt off and that was okay. But the other day Serena Williams wore a a, a, a leotard. leotard with a tutu. <laughs> and they were so upset. No, first it was the leotard she had on. They said that was too much. Right. And then there was she the next one she put on a tutu over it. See, I guess to that's you know, nice. just shut up and she you can't win. Sometimes you just can't win in this world. Right. You know, and I and I feel like a lot of it definitely has to do with the fact that she's black. I, I yeah. don't Yeah mean to pull the race card, but then again, I do mean to pull the race card. Sometimes yeah. you have to, because yeah. that it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. And yeah. at the end of the day, I feel really bad, but you know what? She's still going to play tennis at the end of the day. She's going to pay that fine. She's going to know never to break her racket again. Right. <laughs> and she and has that fine a million times over. Yeah. They're hating on a black Pennies. woman. Right. Another black <laughs> woman. And, she, and she's a woman. It's not, that, that's the main reason. Successful. Yeah. That's woman. the main reason. One thing I will say is I didn't mm -hmm. really like the fact that because she did lose, mm -hmm. the crowd booed the actual young lady that won. Mm. And what I did like about it, though, Serena Williams told them that no too. one booed her. Right. Don't boo her. That There's no reason to boo her. She didn't do anything mm -hmm. but play the game. That's right. That's so, actually excellent sportsmanship. Yeah, yeah. it is excellent sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. also sisterhood. Sisterhood! Y'all <laughs> <laughs> oh, so know, know what else is sisterhood? These flowering prints that we have on today. Yes. yes! We have these prints on today, guys. Show me some sister, an example. Listen, mm -hmm. listen, listen. Well, yeah. guys, we've come to the end of the show. We hope you enjoyed it today. What about you, ladies? Did you enjoy it? I really, I really did. did. I really did. Yeah, so, I had a good time. It was clean and it was nice. It was fun. I really enjoyed Put Your Feet to the Concrete. Hey, it now. Was, it was so fun, you know. Hey, um, now. Hey, now. Well, guys, stay it. tuned to the next episode of. The 411. Have a good day, guys.